Hi everybody, this is Catherine, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Rainbow Six Siege. Uh, this is my brand new guide. A lot of stuff changed uh, if I compare it to my previous one. So I'll show you what to do. So first of all, make sure that you're removing game mode from your windows. So click game mode over there. Put this one at off. Make sure that your game bar is at off. And also the capture background recording at off and recorded audio at off. Second thing that you want to do is go where you installed the game. So for me, it's in my C drive open folder. So where you install it, depending on whatever uh, this drive that you choose. Scroll down and you have two launcher. The first one is the DirectX 11 and you have the Vulkan one. We want to change the Vulkan one because I will show you how to launch your game after that in Vulkan. Really important, you will gain FPS with Vulkan. So really important to use this one. Right click on it, click properties, go to compatibility, make sure that you disable full screen optimization, go to change IDPI st setting and make sure that you override IDPI scaling behavior. Click off, uh, sorry, click OK and click OK. Go back to your game. So now we want to launch the game in Vulkan. If you have the game on Steam, just double click on it and you will have a small pop up. It will show you which one you want to choose. Choose the Vulkan one. If you're using Uplay, right click on play and select the Vulkan uh, API over there and press it. So now we'll, we'll go inside of the game. So now inside of the game, click settings, click option, go to the display option. So first of all, make sure that your monitor is the proper one. After that, make sure that you're playing with the normal resolution that you normally play. After all the change, I will show you if you still don't get your objective. So if it's 60, 144, whatever, you will probably need to re lower your resolution, but you will see your image quality degree decrease a lot. After that, display mode, really important this one, play at full screen. Don't use borderless, you will lose FPS, you will see stuttering. So really important. Refresh rate. This one is a bit tricky. If you have a high refresh rate uh, monitor, make sure that you're putting your uh, refresh rate over there. So if you have like 144, 120, whatever, because by default, me, the game was at 60. So really important to put your refresh rate over there. Aspect ratio. This one is a bit tricky depending on your play style. Uh, if you want to boost your FPS, definitely go with 4x3. You will gain more FPS. But you will need to <laughs> be sure that you want to play at 4x3. I know a lot of professionals are, are using this aspect ratio. But it's a bit weird if you're uh, used to play by 16x9. By so if you want to be more zoomed inside of the game, 4x3 is for you. And you will uh, gain some FPS. V-Sync, uh, put this one at off. You don't want any input lag. Feel of view, really depending on your playstyle again, what you prefer. Uh, I'm playing at 70. If you're putting more feel of view, you will lose a little bit of FPS because you need to rendering more in front of you. Render more in front of you. After that, graphic parameter. This one is really important. So if you have 6 gig and more, go with very high with texture and texturing filtering at 16. If you have 4 gig, go with I and 8x. If you have 3 gig, go with medium and 4x. If you have 2 gig, 2x and low. And if you have less than 2 gig, just put this one at linear. Really important. After that, it's pretty easy. Uh, LOD quality, you want to put this one at low. You will gain a lot of FPS at low, like 8 to 10%. Shading quality at low, another 5% over there. Shadow quality, you want to put this one at medium. Don't go with low. You will uh, not see a uh, shadow inside of the game. And it's really important to see uh, if an enemy is like, I don't know, in front of you. You want to see shadow. So put this one at medium. Reflection quality, this one at low, another 4% in your FPS. Ambient inclusion at off, this one will give you 7 to 9% in your FPS, so really important. Uh, lens effect, you don't want to use that. Depth of fill also, put those one at off. The last parameter is anti-aliasing. This one is a bit tricky. I know a lot of people don't like to play game at off because they're seeing like line breaking and a lot of aliasing inside of the game. Uh, I did a couple of a comparison. Honestly, first of all, anti-aliasing at off, you will gain 7% in your FPS, so that's that's huge. Uh, TAA create like some kind of ghosting when you're playing. I really don't like this effect. And FXAA, uh, it's uh, it's a bit blurry uh, the image. So if you want to like a crystal clear image, go with anti-aliasing at off, and also you will gain more FPS. So that's about it, guys. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.